Ukraine smashes through Russian defense in Bakhmut and sends Putin's forces fleeing. Ukraine has entered the village of Andreevka south of Bakhmut amid heavy fighting as Kyiv's forces try to capitalize on their momentum as they attempt to surround the war-torn city. Ukraine has made a huge breakthrough south of Bakhmut, with reports that Russian forces in the area have been sent fleeing in retreat. The news comes as Russian sources claim a massive Ukrainian offensive on the country's southern front, according to reporting by Daily Express US. Kyiv's troops entered the destroyed village of Andreevka south of Bakhmut yesterday, according to Donetsk Oblast Governor Pavlo Kirilenko, but heavy fighting continued. The advance and liberation of the settlement took place, but now the fighting continues both within and outside the settlement, he said. Ukrainian troops had started advancing and regained control of another settlement in southern Ukraine Russian forces launched a counterattack to stop the advance of the Ukrainian infantry but were routed as part of their tank was destroyed by anti-tank missiles and grenades while Ukrainian troops used drones to set fire to other parts of the vehicle their armored Russian troops fled from the battlefield. Ukraine's general staff of the armed forces reported that Russian soldiers in the area were retreating, but Karolenko warned that the village had become scorched earth, making it impossible for civilians to return. President Zelensky also commented on reports after being updated on the situation by the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian armed forces, General Valery Zelushny. Reports have emerged that Ukrainian forces have also seized the town of Klishchyitka south of Bakhmut. With both villages captured, Kyiv's forces would be in a position to cut Russia's southern supply lines to the city. There have also been reports of a massive Ukrainian offensive in the southern Zaporizhia region where the fighting has been in a deadlock for some time. To the south of the city of Orykiv, Ukrainian forces appeared to building on their gains. Russian sources claimed Kyiv was launching a massive offensive in the area. In this video, you can see at least nine units of Russian armored vehicles, which were destroyed thanks in an attempt to expel the Ukrainian troops from the settlement. The Russians used a heavy 500 bomb, which was incredible. However, this tactic did not always prove successful. Furthermore, the Ukrainian forces have made advances in several locations, which penetrated more than five kilometers into the Russian lines. The Ukrainian armored personnel moved towards the Russian defense and fell into the anti-tank ditch. There was also a line they called Dragon Teeth, which was an anti-tank barrier. This indicates that the Ukrainian troops have approached the main line of Russian defense after overcoming the minefield. It is interesting to note that the Ukrainian armored personnel carrier did not meet any resistance from the Russians. Ukraine breaks through Russian defenses as counteroffensive gathers momentum. Ukraine's 47th Mechanized Brigade has reportedly broken through Russia's defenses and is destroying the enemy with Western weapons. Ukraine has reportedly broken through Russian defenses as its counteroffensive against Vladimir Putin's invading forces seemingly gathers momentum. Vladimir Rogov the head of the Moscow-installed administration in Zaporizhia described the missile attack as massive and admitted that Ukrainian forces had breached Russian lines near Robotin, and a member of Ukraine's 47th reportedly told a UK newspaper that it was using Western weapons to destroy the enemy. It comes as part of a significant counteroffensive that could last up to three weeks as Kyiv attempts to punch a hole through deep Russian defense lines. However, Rogov has now said that Ukraine has indeed breached Russian lines near Robotin, using 100 armored vehicles, including U.S. Bradley fighting vehicles and German Leopard tanks. However, 
Other Russian sources put the number of armored vehicles at between 30 and 50, reports The Telegraph. U.S.-based think tank the Institute for the Study of War ISW, said it was likely that Kiev had managed to penetrate and drive through tactically challenging defensive positions. Pentagon officials said that Ukrainian forces had managed to secure a pathway through the heavy minefields in Zaporizhia and were piling into attack through the channel. Putin himself had confirmed that Ukraine's counteroffensive has intensified significantly, but the Russian president claimed his forces had destroyed 26 tanks and that Russian heroism had repelled he Ukrainians on all fronts. The Russian mode had also claimed that both the attacks in Zaporizhia Oblast had been beaten back, but provided no evidence of this. It is believed Ukraine will no try to advance towards the city of Tokmak before staging a final push to the coastal city of Melitopol by the Sea of Azov. Melitopol has been considered a central aim of the Ukrainian counteroffensive for months. Reclaiming the city would sever Russian supply lines to their soldiers in the eastern regions. In a video published by President Zelensky, Ukrainian troops said they had retaken the village of Staromayorsky, located 150 kilometers 90 miles, east of the city of Zaporizhia. Kiev's military claims it liberated the occupied territory under dense artillery fire and airstrikes. After two months of disappointment in the initial phase of the counteroffensive, breaking through the initial Russian defensive lines will give Kiev proof they need to ask for additional Western assistance, Mr. Shoemaker said.